morning. My name is Dennis. I'm with Impatient Creations. And we've got a really exciting vehicle here. It's called a La uh, Land Rover D110. It's the four-door version of the uh, Land Rovers. This is a 91, so mid-90s is where the Defender was really, really popular. And this is one of the iconic, the one of the uh, uh, four-door versions of it. So we didn't do the paint and some of the stuff on the outside and some of the interior. It was done by a company overseas called The Land Rovers really did a super job but it some of the uh, modifications and upgrades that they did didn't fit physically didn't fit the owner of this vehicle so what we had to do is come in and make alterations that you can't find and uh, made alterations so that he could fit in the car physically fit in the car and use the car and the one important thing he had is he had a four-cylinder turbo diesel that he almost had to run the emergency flashers to get on the interstate because it was a tough thing to get over 60 miles an hour, maybe 65. So we went from a roughly 80 horsepower to 480 horsepower, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Okay, as I mentioned to you just a few seconds ago, we're gonna talk about one of the big grade upgrades we did was on the drive line in the engine. We put in an LS3, so we went from roughly 80 horsepower to um, 480 horsepower. The, the thing, and you'll see that in a few minutes, but one of the things that we do when we do any kind of an upgrade is we make the engine compartment commensurate with the rest of the truck or vehicle, and it complement the original intent of the Land Rover name. So when you get up close to this engine, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But we've, appoint, we've used the original appointments. We've got the original air conditioning, the original uh, brake booster and brakes. Um, we've had to upgrade the fan. We're now cooling 400 more horsepower, plus air conditioning that it you know struggled with before. But this is an LS3, 6.2 liter. Um, we did, uh, as you notice, this has a uh, air scoop on it and so we use this because one of the things that we do with these uh, upgrades is give it cold air induction so we are using this plenum and it's we've turned the intake around so it has the air intake on the back side of the engine there so it it serves an, a direct into the uh, it right into the motor so we get the coldest air we can get out of it I think you'll find this a really really classy um, upgrade that is like I say, is commensurate with the rest of the vehicle. It's, um, it's rated just at 400 horsepower at the rear wheels. It is an all-wheel drive vehicle. We had to remove the uh, uh, front axle to get the, to get the um, uh, drive on it to, to, to do the dyno. So it's really a classy car. I wish I could take credit for all this and the color, but it came with that. So what we tried to do is everything that we did had to complement that, and I think you'll find it really pretty exciting. And now we're going to talk for just a second about the interior. Again, we did not change the upholstery, but what we did do is we modified the way the seats worked and operated and the clearances around the roll bars so that the seats would actually pass through the roll cage. That was really important because our owner is a big guy and he wanted to be able to sit in this vehicle. Secondly, we improved the instrumentation. You'll see that in just a minute, but it's uh, all electric. It's what we call digital analog. It's analog gauges with the instruments, the, the needles. And then we added to the audio system. We needed more information, more space. So we're using Alpine's new uh, floating uh, display, which is really neat for this vehicle. And it's really on time for that vehicle because it, it doesn't have much room to put. Uh, some of the uh, some of the dimensions that you need to really have an excellent display. So I think you'll find that that's really really an upgrade for the uh, defenders, as if you're familiar with the defender dashboards and instrumentation. So again, we appreciate the opportunity to work uh, for this owner to get this car in a um, in a fun mode. Uh, it'll flex its muscles, it'll, it'll, it'll just perform, and I think that you'll agree with us that we've complemented the vehicle, we haven't over overpowered it. Thank you very much. Now, be sure and like us, comment, and subscribe to us. Thank you.